suddenly have higher expectations this season from where they've been in years past. Are off to solid starts. The Atlanta Falcons with their first road game of the season at 2-0. Take on the homestanding Detroit Lions who have played a couple of nail biters in the first two weeks. There was Dan Campbell, KP, and a short kick to start the day to Mike Hughes. Getting the opportunities without Cordero Patterson healthy. He's going to get chopped down shy of the 25 by Jalen Reeves Maven, their special team stalwart. Remember, he converted that fake punt in week one on the road at Kansas City. It would have been pass interference had it not been tipped. Here's Algier out of the backfield, and Alex Anzalone saves the drive defensively by stopping Algier short. Man, orchestrating traffic, understanding what they're trying to do. Get out in the flat, watch him right here. Just scream down this edge. No orchestrating the traffic, staying on top, making a great tackle. That is just a great play by Alex Anzalone. Ritter wheels around and runs into the second Detroit sack of the season. This belongs to Benito Jones. Well, it's a full slide protection, and you're going to watch these two guys in the middle not being on the same page. That center, right guard's a little bit late getting over there. Chris, Chris Lindstrom, you see right there, and just a split by Jones to the quarterback. Third and long for Ritter. Back-to-back -back sacks. The pass rush the Lions have been looking for shows up here in week three. Barnes the sack. You're going to get a chip right at the very top of this formation. Tight end's going to chip, turn it over to right tackle. You have to know right now, step up in that hole if you can. Throw the ball away, but Barnes comes off the edge after double team. Detroit starts from the 34 this time with a fake and a toss, and it's Sam Laporta again. He's got the first down on a gain of 11. Jesse Bates, the excellent safety submarine to keep an eye on him. He was kind of critical of himself with how he played at left tackle. He's in there to block right now, giving Goff time and space. And he's got the completion. He's got Amon Ross St. Brown. No injury this week, but it was good to go today. Goff on the slant, connects again. This time it's Sam Laporta. He's already got a few grabs, fighting for yardage. He's got the first down, seemingly. There's something in the water with those uh, Iowa tight ends, isn't there? 37 years of age. Pressure coming from Atlanta. Goff delivers towards the sticks. Raymond's got the first down inside the 35 of Atlanta. Richie Grant came in with some pressure from the safety spot. Goff was protected with time. And Goff just taking it right down. I mean, he is right down, staring down the brush. He's going to deliver on time. Knows he's going to take a hit by Grant right there. You love a quarterback. Doesn't even flinch. Just keeps his eyes downfield. Is not looking at the rush. For those two NFC North foes. Inside the little flip. And Gibbs fights for the first down. Down to the 22-yard line. And Detroit continuing to move the football. A seven-yard try here for Riley Patterson. His first field goal attempt with the Lions was at the horn to force overtime last week against Seattle. He drilled that one, and this one is good as well. Lions strike first in the opening quarter. It's the first points allowed in the first quarter by the Atlanta Falcons this season. Fresh set of downs from near midfield. Crack toss for Robinson, and an excellent defensive play by the fellow rookie out of Alabama. The second round pick, Brian Branch, has played really well the first two games. I'm telling you, it's. I think it's the toughest position in football playing that nickel corner because you've got to have the skills of a cover guy but also have the just instincts of a linebacker and this kid has got it brian ba branch in the backfield deep drop ritter floats it and smith is brought down well he's right here off this play action you watch he steps up reads it gets out sees the tight end trying to leak out on the wide delay Pressure coming from Detroit with an extra man and a good pass breakup by the rookie Brian Branch as he stepped in front of Drake London. You've got to understand the difference between man and zone in this one. Outside leverage, cut back underneath. You know you have the safety. You see it right there. What a play by the young nickel cornerback. 
Falcons load the line. They bring four. Goff throws. Got a man loose. It's St. Brown. Signed to the practice squad this week. Was with the Colts in preseason. Was with the Detroit last year. Is in the game. Goff stops. Loads. Open Laporta. He's got it. And he's got his first NFL touchdown. He's becoming a star. Get that football for the mantle. Well, the route, I love this, right? We talked about the flood route. Watch him at the top of the stem. Bam, he gets Grant, comes back the opposite way on the throwback, wide open. And we talked about his route running, his sensibility, how he understands coverage. You saw it all right there. Longest Lions play of the early season so far. Fake it to Robinson. Hutchinson in front of Ritter put a shoulder into him. The pass is floated a little high for Pitts. And Brian Branch making another impact play, getting a fingertip on it. I love, I love this kid, Branch. I mean, you talk about awareness. Tight ends doing a good job in the blocking. That's one thing about Atlanta. They've got some tight ends that are not afraid to do both. But this Brian Branch kid. I mean, comes out in zone, flies. A little creativity here. They faked it to Algier. They gave it to Robinson on the reverse. And a good job by Jerry Jacobs, another Atlanta native, coming over to chop him down after a short gain. Third and long coming up. Blitz coming. Ritter, one-on-one. -on -one. Incomplete for Pitts. Cam Sutton in coverage. Of young quarterbacks, including Ritter for the Falcons. Now it's Goff, the veteran for Detroit, giving it to Gibbs. And a good run on first down, seven yards for the rookie. Third and four. Goff over the middle deep, got a man. It's a first down to Khalif Raymond out near midfield. Falcons bring an extra man. Goff on the slant. That is a tight window throw to St. Brown for a first down to the 40 of Atlanta. I just love Almon Raw, St. Brown. He was in motion. They give it to Zonovan Knight. And Zonovan Knight with a nice run. Picks up about eight on the play. Goff, play action. His receiver is Raymond. He stumbled a little bit and then still recovered for a big gainer. 22 yards to Khalif. And it's first down and goal. Man, Khalif just getting on the toes of the DB. This is what they say. Get on his toes, right? Make him commit and then get out on a tight break. The top of your stem. That is route running. Two minutes here on the road. Trying to come up with a key scoring drive. And he's going to hit the deck. Look at touchdown by Hutchinson. He had a Lee McNeil bearing down on him. And Detroit's defense already with three sacks today after one in the first two games. So that penalty sets Detroit back to its own 17. Goff slings deep out, and a diving catch is made by Amon Ross St. Brown. That is perfect accuracy. I mean, to the sideline, unreal, over the top of Flowers. And he loves it. Look at it. Yes, indeed. Going back to that Thursday night game in 2015. Boy, Detroit brought pressure, and Anzalone was one of the men. It ends up being a sack for the rookie, Jack Campbell, the first of his NFL career, the first-round pick. Last year, he and Robinson are a solid tandem. Now a really nice defensive play by Branch coming back. The rookie makes the play. I love both of this from both sides in this little sequence here. Yeah, and you watch him coming into frame. He's going to see this cut right through the line of scrimmage. Nobody accounts for him in a form tackle in the backfield, and the mouthpiece still hanging from the top <laughs> of his helmet. Robinson going the other way. Hutchinson was first to make contact, chasing him down. Just a gain of a yard, he and John Kaminsky finish it.
Well, you're going to see him right here in the stand-up. Now watch him fly down the line of scrimmage with his shoulders turned. When you see that on the tape on the sideline, you know what you say? Let's boot keep out the backside. If he's going to chase that hard, can we get an advantage to the outside with our quarterback and maybe make an easy throw out there? Something to look for in the next drive from Atlanta. A little wobbly, and it's no good. There's some familiarity with what they want to do as a defense. Into the flat, boy, they use Amon Ross St. Brown in so many effective ways. He can come from the slot, from the outside, or out of the backfield. Draw play on third and 20. There goes Gibbs up the middle with a pounding run to get into plus territory. Ritter through the air, stepping up in the pocket. Still behind the line, now he takes off and Branch is there to run him out of bounds after a short gain. He's got a deep man in Hodge and he cannot hold on, it's Melifonwu. Both backup safeties coming up with big plays back to back, Walker and Melifonwu. Melifonwu just playing in the hole right here and watch him just read this route, seeing the quarterback's eyes and then breaking right as that ball is released. Mac Hollins could not hold on. 18 nuts. Goff loads it up and he connects with Laporta, but right in front of Terrell. Second down and 13. Goff on the cross to St. Brown and a diving tackle is made by D. Alford. A key drive from the 35 for Ritter. Deep drop, looking for deep routes and time runs out. Charles Harris, his first of the season, the fifth of the day for Detroit. Well, you're running off the play pass right here. And I'll tell you what, one-on-one -on -one with the fullback, Harris, there's just nothing open down the field. Nowhere. Quick throw, it's batted into the air and picked off! Romeo Okwara was deflecting that ball. They're going to rule it incomplete, though. Tracy Walker snared it, but it's going to be ruled as an incomplete pass. There's the knockaway by Okwara, and that's a free ball. Walker came flying in and seemingly could not hold on. You see it on the backside of him. Yeah, right incomplete. through his wickets right there. Oh, man. Ritter. Needs it, throws it, incomplete for London. Matched up with Branch. And Atlanta cannot take advantage of their best starting field position of the day. Now Jared Goff from the 37, 38 yard line. On the bootleg, he finds St. Brown, who is able to get away from Richie Grant and add a first down with 17 yards on that catch and run. Watch, sold out to stop the run down here, and then all of a sudden you come out wide open spaces for Jared Goff. Gibbs again. Oh, wow, he slithers through the hole for a first down and continues to punish on his way to the 29-yard line. On that offensive line, they're still trying to pound the ball forward with Gibbs, and a first down. And Jameer Gibbs sets up first and goal for Detroit. What a run right here. Watch this double team inside. Just, I mean, you want to talk about throwing Onyemata on the outside and opening up a wide lane for Gibbs. Goff keeps it this time and rumbles in for the touchdown. His first rushing touchdown as a Detroit Lion. Well, we talked about it. When those defensive ends sell out on the run, it opens up the edge for your quarterback, for your jet sweeps, and nobody in this building expecting Jared Goff to take off with that football. He had 10 of those as a member of the Los Angeles Rams when he was the number one pick in 2016. It's a 17-point Detroit lead. 
An opportunity here from Mike Hughes. They kicked it short that time, and the special teams unit, Malcolm Rodriguez, is there to shut down any chance for a long return. You can't get Why fooled. In this it? position of the game, you're up. You can't get fooled by stuff like that. Well, this guy wasn't fooled either. He hasn't been fooled a whole lot today. Brian Branch is playing another very strong game in his rookie campaign. What a player from we talked about it. Just understanding a little swing pass. Watch him right here. Just watch this. Understand, diagnose, explode, pass the rookie running back, Robinson. That is rookie on rookie right there. Uh-oh, here comes McNeil, and it's short. Not a great platform for Ritter to throw from because of that pressure from the third-year man out of North Carolina State. It's really hard to create a big play. And now the defense comes up with a big play for the first time this year. Aiden Hutchinson with a sack. Aiden Hutchinson, watch this. Just watch this uh, spin move back in. He's going to catch him with his back arm right here. Bam, catch him with the back arm. We used to call that the ninja spin. Five minutes to play at Lambo. Jack Fox, this guy skies punts. Unreal hang time for Jack Fox and still got 52 yards on the boot. One of the best punters in the game. But I don't think he cares at this point. Yeah. They've just well, I'm saying his game. chest hit, hit the helmet of Robinson. There we go again. Hutchinson with the play to seal it. At the two minute warning, this ball game's over. And the defense of Detroit deserves to celebrate with a dominant performance. A lot of criticism over the course of the first couple of weeks. It's been answered today. Great leadership by that man right there, Dan Campbell, and just the, the tone that they set with those injuries. No excuses. We keep rolling just like you said. And then Jared Goff just showing why he's one of the top quarterbacks, especially in the NFC. Dan Campbell's crew with a short week this week. Thursday night football looming on the road at Lambeau in their first divisional game. Gets Detroit up to 2-1 on the season.